risk? Well, actually, it's not just a smartphone issue. I mean, most of us are used to thinking about uh, mobile media as on phones like this. Actually, the vast majority of phones out there look like this. This is what the industry calls feature phones. Uh -huh. And they're actually 70% of the market. Most of these are email-enabled, and most of them also have web browsers on them, very wow. basic ones. Yeah. But the issue is when you get an email in, uh -huh. and it, it says, something's wrong with your account. There's suspicious activity on your bank account. You need to click this link right now to check out the activity. If it asks you to log in and ask for your password, that's probably a scam. Never click a link in an email and then enter your password. It's just generally bad policy. So that really is the red flag. If it's saying we want more information from you as we're trying to inform you about something, then just delete it. Don't even open it. it, it yeah, d well, yes, that's true, but um, you might also want to notify your bank or other uh -huh. uh, organizations. It's not just your bank, but it could be your insurance company or a retailer that you do business uh -huh. with. Uh, but the issue is, is that the fishers, when they steal the email addresses, they know two things. They know your email address and they know who you do business with. Yeah, okay. And they, th then they know, well, we can make this look like an email from Chase Bank because we uh -huh. have all their logos and everything. They can make it look official. Now, the problem with mobile devices is twofold. First of all, um, it's a difficult environment to see what the URL, the full URL is, the full web address is that you'd be yeah. going to. Uh, a lot of times you can only see the first part of the URL. And the second thing is when people have a phone in their hand, they're like, I want to click it. What can I do with this? <laughs> and uh, so they're more likely, the, uh, there's a research company called Trustier that back in January got the, uh, the server records from servers that a bunch of scammers have been using. And they looked and they found that mobile users were three times more likely to enter their login information than oh, people who were accessing it from a computer. Okay. Yeah, so it's very like interesting it, study. Yeah, it seems like just about everybody, as you said, has a smartphone to some degree. But is this the case that certain smartphones are more susceptible than others? For example, well, the iPhone. Is that one putting you at greater risk than, say, a BlackBerry? I hate to use their product name, but well, that's what some what guys are this? saying. What this particular study showed was that iPhone users were eight times more likely than BlackBerry users to access the phishing site. They weren't necessarily more likely to enter their login information, but they were more likely to click the link Why? in the email. Uh, yeah, the, well, I don't know, because that study only looked at things from the point of view of the scammers. Uh -huh. they, they, it only looked from, the, from the, the, the site that they were supposed to be hitting, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the company Trustier speculated that the iPhone is more of a consumer uh, device, the BlackBerry is more of a business mm -hmm. device, so hopefully business users are a bit more aware about security issues. Mm -hmm. I, I don't really know why it's the case, but just good general common sense is, yeah. if you get a link in an email, don't click it. Now, if you do click it, and if you did the wrong thing and right. entered the, your password, you want to immediately go to the regular website through your browser. Don't click another link to get there. Just <laughs> oh go to the goodness. website. Change your password immediately, because that's what they were trying ah, to get, is your I password. See. All right, very And good. then notify, notify them that, hey, I mess up, and yeah, they can monitor bank your account more closely. Woo, okay, good tip. Yeah. So we don't want to get scammed out there, and it seems like there's certainly an increase of avenues in which to get scammed. Social media writer Amy Guerin, thanks so much. Thank you. All right, Prince William and Kate Middleton have invited 1,900 people to their wedding. Guess who, among the following, got one of those invitations? Take a look at the list. Was it former Prime Minister Tony Blair, Paul Burrell, Princess Diana's former butler, Cambodia's King Nordom Shimoni, or Chen Shengadea, the Middleton's grocer? Find out next.